<laughs> Thanks, Jason. The big question now, since we're talking about this, is for everybody watching. What does it mean for you financially, for all of us? Joining us now is Brent Wilsey, who's a financial expert who has his own asset management firm. So, Brent, good day to you. Good day to you. First question is, it's about, uh, you know, a lot of mortgage uh, brokers are out there, and I think they're, are they offering up lower mortgage rates for those who own property? Uh, yes, actually they are, because I noticed today the 10-year treasury, which a lot of mortgages are based mm -hmm. on, uh, was about 1.7% yesterday. Today it's at around 1.5. So a nice thing happening for us here will be lower mortgage rates on mortgages and also perhaps on credit cards and other loans as well. So when you talk about mortgage rates, what do you think they might hover at then? Well, because you got a lot of points and stuff in there, but I, I would look for probably, if you have a mortgage rate now around 4%, which is kind of on the high side, right. you might see it, we'll call it around maybe a 3.7, maybe a 3.8. Okay. So a, a nice nice decrease, because that'll make a, a, a big difference in your dollar. Okay, okay, so no matter what age you are, a lot of people have investments, a stock portfolio, for example, mm -hmm. 401k. So today, our George Chamberlain said it's an emotional kind of thing, that's why the numbers are dropping, but what do you think? Should people be alarmed? Should they reinvest? Should they look at their portfolio? Well, to be honest with you, I was a little bit disappointed we didn't drop as much because I wanted more of a drop to get better buys. Um, but what's happening is that you've got to understand what you own. Make sure, like in, if you have a 401k, do you have international funds in there? They will be hurt more mm -hmm. than a company here, like in our portfolio, we own a company called Bed Bath Beyond. They strictly do business in the United States, so right. there's going to be no effect on them at all. But if you have a company like uh, maybe a Pfizer that yeah. sells drugs in England and Europe, they're going to be affected. Okay, so lastly, if we want to take a last minute trip across the pond, perhaps to England or to Wales or to Scotland, should we do it? Is the dollar more valuable there now? Oh, it definitely is. We saw a major spike in the dollar this morning. We saw a decrease in the euro and the pound and so forth. So that's one benefit of going uh, overseas. You'll, your dollar will go further. Uh, we also know, too, that if you're going to buy a Porsche or Mercedes or French wine, wow. they'll be a little bit cheaper for you. Didn't think of that one. <laughs> Jason, back over to you. How about you want to go buy a Porsche? No, but I would like some French wine. <laughs> that would be wonderful.